guess I'll start recording. Alright, so, time for more Musashi Samurai Legend. I tried, guys, I tried to off-screen um, some of the, uh, get some of those abilities, but unfortunately, unless you have a mission, you cannot go back to stages. You have to have an, a reason to go there. So, um, I was not able to. Um, I'm just going to buy some stuff while I'm here, and then we'll continue with the story. Um, I haven't introduced you guys to the shops at all. You want it? I don't think you, you'll find them very interesting, though. Um, this place sells stuff that increases stats. Um, the the hardier the hardier rings are what we're gonna get. Actually, no, not the hardier rings. The spy spyglass, um, because it gives focus plus five, which makes um, focus makes uh, duplicating abilities faster, which would be pretty nice because it takes forever, and we really need that to be as fast as possible right now. Have a productive day. Because we're going to be learning a whole lot of moves. Pretty soon, probably. As soon as I actually am able to get them uh, without just getting pummeled. But where we need to go um, is actually the archives right here. So she can't even tell where the sword of water is because she falls asleep too fast. So anytime her glasses are broken, because she can't focus, she falls asleep. And so we have to get some laser nuts to make her some more glasses out of. I think Fontina has something to do with water, and maybe it does, but I'm pretty darn sure it's actually a cheese. Because I'm pretty sure all of the maidens are named after cheeses, and everyone in the game, pretty much, everyone in the uh, Anthium is named after food of some kind or another. And, um, and all of Gandrake's directors are named after wine, I think. But yeah, let's go down to the second floor because I want to do some appraisals. I picked up some items. I want to take a look at them. And... I gotta jump at that door. So we got a funky mask and torn parchment. Let's see what this funky mask is. One of the five legendary artifacts. Eagle goggles. They let you see the, en the HP of enemies. Use it with the utmost care. And what is this torn parchment? A rare find indeed. It's a love letter. Well, that was helpful. But we can see enemy HP now. 
That's pretty nice. Um... So we can't go back to Rockfort Mine at all, because we have to have a reason to go there. So instead, we're going to go to the Wellspring Woods um, to find a laser nut for Fontina. Oh, it all goes full circle. This is, this is going back to Tulip. Oh my. This laser nut, where would that be? I know, I don't really remember. Slowly sink into that water and do a tiny bit of damage to it. Where are those lazel nuts? I guess it wouldn't be here. Because it wouldn't be in the Lost Woods area. Because we can't even navigate that unless um unless we have somebody to guide us. So it's probably up here. Which would be the third time we've gone this way. Oh yeah, you'll notice the uh, the ring that I just got com got rid of completely uh, around the targeting reticle. That's the enemy health. That's what we have. See the rainbow-colored ring. Wow. Duplicating should be so much easier now. I just noticed how fast that bar filled. Later on, that's going to be really nice, having that fill up so fast. jarring playing this game right after Devil May Cry 3, because Devil May Cry 3 has such tight controls. Um, everything is so... Um, um... Ah, there we go. I got a new technique. Banishing Blade. Slash enemies into four even chunks. Well, you have to actually kill them with it. There we go. are just so much tighter and just cleaner than, than this game. You can interrupt your actions with, with the dodge move. So it's just a little bit jarring. Oh yes, there's the way you get past that. Sword of Earth. Now we can actually go to a new area. Oh, 
A textbook rescue. Oh, someone who teaches magic. I don't think you can actually learn magic from her. I think she just seriously is another NPC who stands around and does pretty much nothing for you. Um... better use of that move. Um. Iron parts are really... Oh, actually, it's magic alloy. That's right. Iron parts are used for something else. Uh, magic alloy is really nice because the katana that, um, that Musashi uses can be reinforced using magic alloy uh, at the blacksmith that we met earlier. Uh, if we go to the blacksmith that we met earlier. Did that say a trashy novel? This actually goes into the woods, finds a uh, spring area with a really strange red tree. Um, getting a deadly premonition vibe here. Um, and then uh, and he finds a trashy novel of all things. Yeah. Yes, it's a book about garbology. Oh, it's, everything is tying together. This game has managed to get elements from Devil May Cry 3 in the Anthem, the, the giant whale. Um, from, uh, Chulip. I can't remember where we found the comparison to Chulip, but I know it was there. And then, uh, and, and now it is, uh, it has had an element from, uh, from spy fiction as well. A lightweight strap. <laughs> oh yeah, love letter. That's right. Here's that nut they were talking about. I, I guess we're gonna carry this now. Well, huh? See, there, it does make you think you can go that way. But I don't think we can jump that far. I don't think it's possible. No, it's not. Even without the knife, and I don't think you jump as far with it. So, I, I have a little bit of a, uh, a problem here. I don't actually know how to get over there. <clears throat> I've always gone back the long way because I could never figure that out. 
so uh, here we go. At least we got a nice weapon for this. We're just gonna carry her lenses here and uh, use it to smack enemies out of our way. There was a uh, person to rescue there, and I have rescued all of the people, but the thing is, I did it using an item you get later. Just as I was about to say, it's a good thing none of these guys can keep up with us, but then I got hit immediately. I love knocking them out of the air. No, I hope I can actually pick that up again. Um. Oh. Oh well. Okay. I, I forgot that you could do that. I forgot that enemies could just fall right into the water, and that they had a tendency to do that. what that noise was but we have uh, we have gotten the nut that we can make into her lenses so let's go to the blacksmith so he can actually do that for us so he can make them into lenses mm. mugwort <laughs> That is how, that is how you make glasses. Well, while I'm here, let's upgrade my katana. I had two ma magic alloys, so might as well. That actually doubled our katana strength, so that was totally worth it. Yeah, while we're here, let's let's get that let's get those items appraised. See what they are. Why not? We found we found a trashy novel. Let's see. Let's see how that, uh, let's see what that actually is. Oh. Oh, and a lightweight strap. Oh, what's this? Let me have a closer look. 
A rare find indeed. Long lost not, uh, no, long lost love. Fifty Shades of Grey wasn't out yet when this game came out. Oh, another one of the five legendary artifacts. And this is exactly what I needed in order to get across that gap. I found it five steps away from the gap I needed to get across. But I couldn't use it because you have to get it appraised first. Can't use it in here. See? I can double jump now. Would have been really useful. Actually, I don't think I would have been able to carry it across anyway. Because I don't think you can double jump when you're carrying something. Still. No, he, he said ha every time he jumped in the first place. Oh, everything went from being really blurry to just having blurry textures. I suppose I ought to thank you. You'd best seek some help for yourself. Chronic meddling syndrome. Oh no, she doesn't seem to like us at all. for a while. He's... This is, this is the best thing to do when saying, oh dear me. You just, you just do a little dance. And you just keep doing it. <laughs> okay, I'll let him stop. <laughs> So she believed uh, the people of Anthium could restore peace on their own. Um, and so she was against summoning some sort of legendary hero to help them in the first place. I guess, I guess that's probably related to the fact that... Um, hmm, I guess it's just... She doesn't want to depend on somebody else? Somebody from outside? I don't know. It might tie into the first game somehow. Hey. What do you want? Don't cop a tood. So, Asadero said you weren't sold on the idea of calling me. That's right. I still believe we can take care of ourselves. You really think so? Yes, I do. Then why the heck am I here? Good question. <laughs> Come on, throw me a bone here. I just want to know where the Sword of Water is. You just don't get it, do you? I am going to get the sword and then rescue Princess Mycella. You're the one who doesn't get it. You honestly think you can pull that off? Gandrake will own you. Do you have any idea how worried everyone was when you disappeared the first time? I know. I've studied so hard for this for so long. But for what? What good is knowledge if it can't get us out of this mess? Come again? First, I get carried off by Gandrake. Then I lash out at the one who rescues me and fixes my glasses. I don't hate you. I hate myself. Well, I don't hate you, and neither does anyone else. Give yourself a break. Really? You might.
might feel useless, but you're not. Everybody can do something. What do you say we work together? You plan it, I'll man it. You got the brains, I got the bronze. <laughs> I think you mean brawn. Yeah, that too. So are we a team or what? Well, all right. Here's what I know. I, I keep pausing just to listen to the music. It just is so... I just really like the music. The scarlet stone set in the pod shields the strength of sapphire sleeves. Set to shaking the solid soil where sleeps the sentry Cerise. Um... And salute its spirit stirring, which signals slumbers cease. That is a little bit too much alliteration. <laughs> it's an old poem I found in the archives. It means that when you find the giant stone monster that guards the sword of water, use <laughs> the sword of earth to awaken it. So there's, here, there's this poem that is supposed to be really cryptic. So I'm going to tell you exactly what it means. I can do that. Thanks for the tip. Don't think this means I trust you. Bring back the sword of water, and I might change my mind. The scarlet stone set in the pod shields, the strength of sapphire seas. Set to shaking the solid soil, where sleeps the sentry Cerise. And salute its spirit stirring, which signals slumbers. It's an old poem I found in the archives. It means that when you find the giant stone monster that guards the Sword of Water, use the Sword of Earth to awaken it. Don't think this means I trust Oh, okay, I guess this is the exact same thing. I just think it's weird that they used... That they used voiceovers for something where you just talk to somebody. They don't normally do that. Okay, I guess uh, it's back to Bannon's office. I better save though. Actually, I better rest. It's the main thing. And maybe buy some healing items. Because there's a giant stone monster. I don't think it'll matter, but I'll go ahead and save. Why not? Shouldn't take too much time. So, uh, we're, we've we found out where the Sword of Water is, and we, we talked somebody out of finding the sword. I'm not exactly sure why... how Musashi has any idea how skilled uh, Fontina is with a sword, but... if she's that useless without her glasses, um, I'm not exactly sure how she would be any good at... I don't know. It seems like she would have a pretty glaring weakness that, for Gandrake to exploit. Hello there! Welcome! Alright, um... I think I'm probably not going to need anything more than a corn muffin. Uh, anything that restores more than a corn muffin does. Thank you very much. So how much HP do I have? 133. So that's almost all of my HP from one one healing item. How's it going? Uh, no, we skipped Paralyzing Palm. Um, <laughs> uh, we we skipped Paralyzing Palm because I couldn't I couldn't manage to uh, to get it. It was late and I was going overtime. Ah, Musashi.
Are we really going back to the woods? Or is it in the mine? I guess since we could go to the woods. Oh, no. No, uh... I guess it must be here, because this one's the one that has a, a named mission. So, this must be it. But it was still letting us go to Wellspring Woods, so I guess we can revisit that. Oh. Uh, okay. Alright, let's learn some of those moves we missed out on. First one being Angry Hornet. I think we, I think I actually did learn this, and then I died, and I didn't save. So, but I actually don't like that one all that much. That was the wrong button. supposed to go, uh, yeah, I would rather have Banishing Blade. I don't really remember where the next place is. What? That's a train. That's different. But there is a treasure chest down here. I want to see what's in it. Oh, magic alloy. Can possibly uh, upgrade my katana if I get one more. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. That's right. I want to go up on that track there. Cause I think what I want is this way. I think it's through this this time. Could be wrong. And I am. It's not through there at all. Well, then where is it? Hmm. Could be back this way, or it could be down there again. I'm not exactly sure. I guess it's not that way. Uh, wait, is that treasure chest closed again? I'm sure I got that treasure chest. So, I guess it must give them more stuff. I don't know. Some iron parts. Alright. Um, there will be something we can do with those later. never get tired of that robot just falling down just oh I guess there's a guy I better go get him oh I just fell in a hole well I'm just gonna keep walking oh I did that again I must be getting I must be getting tired I must be a guard from uh, 
any other game we've been playing. It's by fiction. It is not this way. Oh, it is this way. Okay. Let's just keep shaking it. Dang! This thing won't budge! They don't open that way. This is potentially very bad. Yeah, I'd say that's bad. Um, yep. And then he died. <laughs> well, and so ended Musashi's adventures. Or maybe he was just really good at jumping. Phew. That was close. These guys just keep congratulating each other. Oh. Uh, these guys are here, which is good, because there's a move I want to learn from these guys. that one. It's that move. Uh, no. Ah, seriously? find a space. Let's see if I can... This is the reason I wanted to get that focus. Because it takes too long to fill this meter. And now he's not even gonna... Really? Really? He didn't even... He didn't even do the move. He didn't even defend himself. And now I have lost that chance of getting the move, I think. I don't think they'll respawn. I think they're one of very few enemies that don't respawn. Could be if I wait long enough, they will. Okay, do it again. Do that move again that you just did. There we go. This move is fun. Paralyzing Palm. So, uh, it's, it's, it's a move where you can just shock them, and then pick them up, and then use them to hit other enemies. It actually does less damage than the sword. Actually, no. Maybe not. 
it's very little MP to do more damage and to knock enemies around. It's not bad. But instead of uh, tossing people up in the air and uh, being able to knock away enemies who are there, who are around you, you can knock, you can hit them as well. Nope, looks like these guys aren't respawning. So, they, there went that. Guess I'm not do gonna be able to do that after all. Ah. And I am very low in health. I'm afraid we're gonna, we might end up going overtime on this on this again. Because these missions are pretty long. I don't think this was a very good choice. But I, there's just so much I like about this game. Mainly the music. <laughs> and the atmosphere, but... It doesn't really lend itself that well to streaming. Despite learning all those moves, you have to have enough MP to use them. Um, so, you might not really have the opportunity to do them that much. That's kind of the way it goes. If you want to use them very often, you gotta buy ice cream. But not only do you have to buy ice cream, you have to buy dry ice so that the ice cream doesn't melt. Which doesn't seem like a very good thing to carry around in your pockets. The ice cream or the dry ice. I'm not exactly sure where Musashi stores these things. Oh good, a checkpoint. I was a little... <laughs> okay. Uh, again, duplicating is really what I want. I want lots of focus. But of course, you know, when you level up, everything goes up anyway. It's just whatever you choose uh, increases that by a little bit more. <clears throat> I really want my duplicating to be better because... Mostly because I'm streaming this and it's really, really boring to watch, I'm sure. If I could get that guy to walk this way, he would just end up getting caught in the steam and it would be the best thing. I've gotten it to happen before, but I don't really know how. Because all of his attacks are ranged and he never has any reason to move. So I don't think he ever does. Yeah, see, he never moves. He just uses his long range attacks. Yet somehow, I seem to remember I have actually gotten him stuck in there before. I know. Okay, here's another chance, I think. Yeah. Another chance to get that move. Oops. Or not. Okay.
What? Apparently when they use that move it automatically de-targets. You can't you can't keep it from taking away your targeting. Opportunity. Okay. That's okay. There we go. There's the new technique. Twin turbine. This is this is a much better block. You do have to have it equipped, and it does use MP over time, but. Um, it makes you block into this. As for whether or not that's more effective, I'm honestly not sure. I think it can block some attacks and a normal block can't block. It still can't block everything though. There's some things that can even break through your windmill block. And you can tell what they are. I mean, like, you, you can tell which moves are gonna be able to do that. saw an enemy through there. I don't know if he's patrolling back and forth or... Yeah, well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Checkpoint reached. to do another mini game. I don't remember. I kind of should have guessed that was going to happen. Familiar, like 
were just here. If there's any reason to go up there. Probably is because there's a robot here. Might have to ride on that train. Not really sure. I don't really remember what what you're supposed to do in this section. Yeah, I think that's it. I think you're supposed to ride on the trail. Either that or just supposed to go up either way. Still, I got lots of money this way. Only you could jump down. Didn't have to run all the way back. Did I go all the way back up? Where am I supposed to go? Apparently I went all the way back, somehow. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully I don't have to do the entire section again where we were riding on the elevator fighting all those guys. I think... I probably will have to, though. If I were to die right here, I would go back to the checkpoint. That might save me some time. It's getting late. <laughs> Hopefully I can get through this, but I know I know there's at least a boss fight, and there's probably a pretty long section before that. I must have just run straight back onto the elevator without thinking about it. No, I, I distinctly remember uh, going through... Well, no, I might have gone back in the same door. That's probably what happened. Double jump and get up here. I bet this is where I'm supposed to go. Wow, this guy just snapped right up on me.
Oh. Come on, just a little bit closer. Just come a little bit closer. Come on. There we go. Got you with the steam. I like doing that. Oh man, another one right away. Bullets as soon as, as soon as that ends. <laughs> Get me tossed around there. I guess there's an easy room. Could have just. Use the uh, the stun, the shocking palm, or whatever. Oh, some more magic alloy. I think I can upgrade my katana again. I have no idea who that kid was. I don't remember. I think it was one of the kids that just studies at the, the academy, and I think she might be part of the trading card quest, which, yes, there's a trading card quest. I mean, this is this is a JRPG. What did you expect? It's, by, it's a JRPG by Square Enix. I mean... Of course there's a trading card game. I'll get out of the way. And yes, this is actually by Square Enix. I don't know if you knew that. So I guess the way I went was just a way to free that uh, that kid. And then I gotta go see what's behind this door as well. Trying to do backflip. Didn't work. Wasn't quite fast enough. Getting really low in health. Oh, good. I needed that level up. It is after midnight, but I really need to finish this mission so I can save. What? What? Hello, new enemy type. Um. Uh, no, stop. Crying out loud. Oh, good. There we go. I got a new technique. Infernal Strike. A an explosion of cosmic power. I love the music for this section. <laughs> there we go. Try to get him to walk over here. Oh, no. I've 
I guess he won't, because he's got ranged attacks. <laughs> Maybe he is in his face. That really isn't a very powerful attack for that long wind-up. The cross attack is actually stronger. But it uses more MP as well. Yeah, two of my attacks do more. Uh, sleepy times. Going to bed, huh? Alright, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Uh, I guess if you want to see the rest, I'll, I'll put it up on YouTube. Um, thanks for joining us, Will. Always glad to have you. This section here is actually kind of a secret. Um, it's not a very good secret because I actually know about it. I don't really look up. I haven't really looked up secrets for this game. Um, actually, I guess it. I guess it isn't a secret because I'm not sure there would be a way to go through that otherwise. But it isn't immediately obvious anyway, and I didn't know about it for a while. Um, I guess I must have figured out about it eventually. Though. But you're not supposed to notice it first, anyway. It, it's all barred up. And so you don't think you can go through it. But you just gotta smack the bars with your sword and just cut right through them. You're just supposed to notice that thing is going way too fast. How do I deal with this? What do I do? Another snot-nosed kid stays at the academy. Part of the Amagi card. There's a trading card quest. Oh! Oh, a very important item. Musashi obtains a rock.
best thing he has found so far. Uh, another rock. Musashi is finding a lot of rocks. It should have a musical note every time you pick up a rock. That would be a pretty great obscure reference to the Game Boy Advance game. It would still be pretty great though. What was it, Avalon Code? No, it wasn't Avalon Code. What was it? I can't remember. More magic alloy. All right, I'll take it. How do I slow that thing down? Get through there somehow. Ah, here it is. All the money. A whole lot of money. I am most grateful. <laughs> Golovnin. Oh man. Master of Ceremonies at the arena. The arena is going to be open. The arena is kind of fun. I mean, I mean, I guess it's just, I guess it just fights against enemies, but. I mean, it's kind of what this game thrives on. Except, the, the, I guess the combat system isn't really that great. The controls aren't really that great. They aren't that tight or anything. And it is an RPG, so I guess it really is just a way to build up levels. Um, but later on, you get some cool fights out of it. There's some bosses in the arena that aren't in the main game. Or just one, I guess. But it's a really cool fight. But I won't get it for a while, even though I've unlocked the arena. Actually, not only is it re a really cool fight, but it has some of the best music in the game. And with this game, that is that is high praise. Thank <laughs> you. 
section's a lot longer than I remember it being. Um... I got some Vigorade. I'm, I think that increases your... What does that do? Oh, it temporarily increases defense. Oh, that's great. An Anthodon's Feast! Um, is that a healing item? Yeah. 250 HP and 250 MP. More than I have. Of both. I'm just really tired of fighting those dudes. I know that's probably gonna bite me in the back that I didn't get the experience from fighting those guys. But I am so tired of fighting those dudes. I don't have that much MP. And I just... There's not that many moves I can use. again. Just want to do that for a while. Defense and duplicating for a while, and then attack power. Oh, and a boss fight. Here we go. Now that it's after midnight. Okay. I think I remember this boss. Now, what was I supposed to do? Oh, yeah. Because that's always a good idea. Have to remember what Fontina told us. Yeah. So we're fighting the Kraken now. What, where's, where's the music? Isn't there... Is it no music? Okay, here we go. That's better. I don't really remember the tactic of fighting this guy. against that. Mm. 
Well, that doesn't work. Ain't worth a shot. Oh, nope. In the middle of an attack animation, you cannot do that. doesn't do that much damage when he does that. He does a little he does a pretty fair amount. Maybe I can use this to defend against? Yes, I can. Okay. He uses a lot of MP though. happening to me before <laughs> what how, what was he what did he do to telegraph that how did, how did he do that uh, I couldn't cancel out Okay, you can guard cancel. use one of these corn muffins. I, d I don't think I'll need it, but might as well. There's always a possibility and I don't want to do this again. that after all, because it took down half my health. Oh wow. Okay. I'll take it. turning blue now. I forgot, I forgot that it did that. I don't know what that means. Oh! That's a new move. Doesn't really have to telegraph that very much. Oh! Okay, this again. That's not a new move. Um, I think when that thing is just curled up on the side, that's what telegraphs it. 
tried to guard cancel and it couldn't work. Okay, one more. Oops. Bad. This is potentially very bad. Bad. Let's use that vigorade. I don't know how much good it'll do right now. Oh, I didn't need it at all. Well, I didn't know. I don't think it would have helped, to be honest. If I'd been hit, I probably would have died anyway. We get a pretty cool looking sword. The sword of water. So we beat a Kraken. Ray. I see you've brought back the sword of water. Very observant. Did you see that with the glasses that uh, that I had fixed it for you? It was like taking candy from a baby. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm really big, baby with tentacles. I knew I was wrong all along, but I couldn't admit it. I just, the, the, the biggest, it was like taking candy from a giant baby with tentacles. That is, that is something that, uh, that is very easy. the other swords in no time. You've proven yourself, Musashi. Now I know we can count on you. <laughs> well, that's the first time you've said my name. Oh, is it? I wasn't aware of that. Ah, yes. We need to hold the right of transfer for the Sword of Water. Come by when you have time. I'll be waiting. Okay, I'll swing by. Oh. Hmm? So bad after all. Oh, Fontina. Don't I know it? <laughs> oh, that was a good response. Musashi, you are, you are not Han Solo. That is for sure. Alright, um, that's more than enough for tonight. Um, I think I have, I think I have played late enough that I outlasted everyone. So, uh, I will, I hope I will see you guys next week, uh, as we will continue on all these games. Um, hopefully, uh, although I think we'll be beating Blue May Cry 3 pretty soon, um, and I have some pretty big plans for that. Um, well, not big, but I, I know what I want to do next. Uh, and I hope you guys will be looking forward to that. So, uh, good night, and, uh, I'll see you soon.